Coming to you from the beautiful Rocky Mountain state of Montana where we are at Nylon Reservoir. I'm with my son Matthew and we've got my dog Duke along for his first trip. We are going to be fishing today for rainbows and brown trout and rumor has it there's some big fish here at Nylon. So we got here, the rain just started coming down. Let's hop in the boat and let's go fishing. Behind me are the Rocky Mountains. Glacier National Park is right over there. Kalispell, lots of amazing places to fish out here in Montana. Not just rivers, some beautiful reservoirs with some big trout. They do stock some of these reservoirs and lakes, but a lot of them are natural growing. And today we're gonna to be doing catch and release. You can use two rods out here in this reservoir. So we've got four rods running, we've got two fly rods and two planer boards off to the sides running a Rapala and a spinner at the moment. So we moved to the northwest side of the reservoir. We've got our equipment set up. We've been trolling for five, ten minutes or so. Just waiting for that first action. Rocky Mountain rainbows, Rocky Mountain browns jumping. Nice fish. Nice fish. We're getting closer here. Oh yeah. Oh no! Oh dang it! Sorry. Oh. Man, I said the bad word. Did we lose our? I think we. Lost the fly. Lost also. the fly, no. I gotta remember what fly that was. That was a beautiful fish. We didn't get it on film, but it took a couple really nice jumps. Uh, I was on a woolly bugger, so I've got more of those. We'll get rigged back up. And an intermediate sinking line for that guy. Doesn't that feel kind of heavy? Yeah, oh yeah. There yeah, we go, push on the platter board. Twitching the line there. So cameraman's gonna have to put, do an assist here. Don't even see the camera a little bit there. Oh, there you go. Get tight there. Yeah, yeah. Take that off. Now it's you and the fish. Got him? Yeah, see if we can bring him in. Oh yeah, there you go. Wow. There you go. That's another nice one. This is, here's our friend we just lost. Still hungry. Look at that fish. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he's got a little bit of that. Look at that. Uh, oh. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Still running, yeah. Still running. Man, look at that, yeah. Nice. Beautiful rainbow, man. Oh man, he's he's still in a good fight here. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're ready. That was a good one. There you go. Hey, all right. Northwest Fishing Reports. Beautiful little right. rainbow here, huh? 
So we're using a knotless net today to safely catch and release these fish. Let's keep them in the water. Boy, he's kind of beat up. Yeah. Oh, here's one right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another fish. <laughs> yeah, this guy's, he's good. Let him go, yeah. Let one man go. There he goes, oh, swimming off. He's fine. Only to have another rainbow here on the fly rod. That same woolly bugger, I think. Yeah, woolly bugger. Wow. This guy's running too. Got him pretty close. Oh, you just spit it out again. <laughs> Gosh. Spit it out. Sorry, I keep swearing on your TV show. <laughs> <laughs> no swearing on the TV show. Basins and reservoirs and teeth. Go pick those up. And paddlefish. Paddlefish, I mean, uh, blend dive. Like Jaws pulling the planer board under the water. They definitely aren't swapping out the rubber. Still on? I think so. I'm not making any no. progress here. Yeah. yeah, he's on there, all right. Oh, yeah, he's on there. <laughs> okay. Better go get the planer board, Mr. Hooper. <laughs> Nice. Nicely done, man. There you go, huh? Yeah. Second one. Fun to bring him in, fun to fight. Nylon reservoir outside of Augusta. Everybody. Today we're talking about stacking downriggers for kokanee and we've got a cool product from Max Lure called the Shuttle Hawk uh, that helps you stack more efficiently. I've got Bobby Loomis here to give us some details. Let's take a look. Rob, the Shuttle Hawk is a tool that we can use for stacking rods. As what you do is, you see you've got this, this cut right here in the front of the Shuttle Hawk. We'll take and snap that onto our downriver cable. With the downrigger cable, it'll be sitting like this. This is our release. This ultra release is really nice because I can set it for any size diameter line that, we've, that we're fishing off of this thing. You take it and just screw it in and tighten it down until it comes in and you can snap it in. Once it gets in there, it's not gonna come out unless you pop it out. It's really, really nice. Easy right. to use. You know, one of those things that, that uh, you know, a lot of clips you have problems with stuff popping off sure. all the time. Once you get this set for whatever line you're using, it doesn't pop off. So, so, what we do is, this has got a little cavity down here, so you've got a little buoyancy with it. So what happens is, when you pick up on your on your line a little bit, you're, tr you're trolling forward, that front nose catches the, the water current, and it actually drags it down. Gotcha. To wherever you want to go. We generally will put a stop on the on the downrigger cable where we want it to go to or if you're using a line counter reel you go down to whatever depth you want and sure. leave it right there. So now I've got a, a rod that's stacked. Now when I pop it off and I'm catching a fish this thing will float right back up to the top and stay on the cable right. and be sitting there. I mean, it's, it's easy to reset. You're not easy. pulling the ball and the bottom rod. Exactly, exactly. It's really, really easy. 
And what you're seeing is you've got your bottom rod in the water at your depth and if you got a line counter, you just, you know, 30 feet, 40 feet, whatever it is, yeah, that'll yeah. drop it down to that level. I want to keep it, you know, at least 10 feet above my other gear. So, you know, right. my bottom rod's at, at 40 feet. I'm going to drop that down to 30 feet right. on, the, on the line counter. Right. So I know right where I'm at. So you can move it to whatever depth you want if you don't put a, a stop on it. Sure. So very cool. Very, very easy to do. Okay, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take this and snap it onto the cable like that. I pull up the ultra release up here in my hand. If I had an eight and a half foot arm, I could reach out there a little <laughs> bit further, but I don't. I put a little twist in the line. I take it, snap it down into the ultra release, and I'm ready to go. So now is all I do is let the line out, and there it goes, down to whatever depth I want to get it down to. I'll put this one about 10 feet above the other one. And there we go. That rod's now sitting at, this one's at about uh, 40. This, one, this one's about 30. So really easy to use. And then when, when I want, you know, I get bit or something, pop the thing off, pop it off, and the shuttle hawk will float back up to the top. Easy to use. Pull it back in. Grab the release, grab my line, snap it back in and go back down. Little grooves right there. And see that you've, you, it's serrated in there. So it helps keep it on the downrigger line. You know, you're getting heavy waves and stuff. Sometimes, you know, right. we put some extra neurals in there and it helps keep it on the cable all the time. And that's the Shuttle Hawk by Max Lore with Bobby Loomis. Holy cow, the planer board just went flying. Big fish. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, baby. I was joking about Jaws earlier. That might actually have been we Jaws. We might have Jaws. That might actually have been Jaws. Wow. Look at that. Look at this. This is a big fish. I mean, he is pulling the planer board around. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. He might have us give us a jump or two. Oh, look at that. Look at that fish. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, I can see, yeah, you can see them on the surface here. Yes. Wow. That's a big brown trout. That's a big brown Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Bro, I'm digging my tata. And I got the net. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is a beauty of a brown trout. Oh my God. That thing's gotta be, that's gotta be in the 22, 23 inch range. Hooked him on the raffle right in the corner of the mouth there. We gotta let this baby go. He's still, look at that guy. You got him filming him a little bit. There we go, goodbye fish. Matt got the honor of catching like five fish in a row, just the way it happened. We switched positions and that was my first fish. That made the whole trip worthwhile. I've never caught a brown that big.
huge fish, amazing. They grow them big in Montana. Today I'm talking about trolling motors and the right propeller to get the best performance. Take it away, Darren. Nine times out of 10, when I get a call from somebody and says, I have a trolling motor, I know the next words that are coming out of their mouth is, we go too fast. Uh, many of these motors have accommodated propulsion techniques to troll down slower, but a lot of them are pushing boats too fast and you're out running your fish. We can modify a propeller and or assess the propeller that you have on your application. If it has too much pitch, this is a different application than performance. We want slow and maneuverability. So your propeller needs to be flat pitch and possibly large diameter for stoppability and maneuverability if you need to turn. Your Yamaha four strokes have great applications with props that are flat in pitch, but many times still they're trolling you too fast. So we can modify your particular prop if there's no other props that are available in a flatter pitch application. Most of your two stroke motors you can just pretty much figure they're gonna to troll too fast. Give us a call and we can take care of that for you. Just let us know what you are running by looking in the side of your prop and the dimensions are stabbed right on the side of the prop. Your diameter and pitch is what we'd like to know. Once I know that, I can tell you whether or not there's anything available out of the box or we need to modify your particular prop or a prop like yours so you can troll and catch the fish like we're gonna catch. That looks like a walleye. You got it, it's a nice oh, walleye. Nice. Excellent. Reel all the way to the top. Oh. All right. All right, man. See that? That's one of my first walleye I've even seen out of this lake. And that's off that bottom walker setup. Yep. Love it. That's a nice one. There's a lot of different campsites and places for people to recreate here. Um, you'll notice a, a lot of signs that remind people to be bear aware. There are grizzly bears all along here as they're coming down from the mountain and roaming the plains. As long as you have protection and maintain a good distance, you'll usually be all right and make sure you're vocal, not surprise them. That's where people get into a lot of issues. Over the weekend, there was a story about a guy who was attacked in the Sun River Man Wildlife Management Area. Um, I didn't read the details, but all that to say that they're out here and get to kind of have a grain of caution as you're fishing these areas. Flag down. The last rainbow took the planer board and ran it back like 10 feet. This one's just a traditional flag down. Oh, he's got some good weight though. I cannot believe the scenery out here, the backdrop of the of Glacier Park and Beautiful, the lakes kind of smoothed out, the wind, the heavy winds eased up. The downside about using planer boards, you gotta fiddle with these. Oh yeah, nice fish. Oh yeah. This fish. That's our sixth rainbow that we've hooked. And uh, man, there isn't a small one in there. They're all in 18 to 20 inch range. Beautiful fish, beautiful. Earlier today, it was a little more windy and we had a little bit of rain coming down. Nothing horrible, but the bite was on and it's, the wind's calmed down and it's actually gotten kind of nice out here. And of course the bite's off. So 
that just shows you how things can change really quick. The hot lure today, it's out there, it's a Rapala. Um, it's in a more of a natural color, not this orange color. But um, these fish were really liking that one. That's what we got the big brown on. So we're just waiting for that next bite to come. You can see why they call this Big Sky Country. I would call it Big Fish Country. Nylon Reservoir, just outside of Augusta, about an hour and a half from Great Falls. Great fishing if you get out here to have the opportunity to give it a try. We'll see you guys on the water and online. Okay, well, we're gonna let him go. There he goes. And he's fine. <laughs> 